So if this was the end of the main uh, cross beam, uh, the first thing I do is uh, using some of this stock that I'd previously made up that fits uh, nicely into the end of the tube. What I have done is I've drilled a hole down through the center of that wood uh, and the hole um, obviously matches whatever your axle requirements are. So the axle simply inserts into the, into the wood got a little burr on the end of my uh, bit of axle so it's not going all the way down but you'll get the idea. Um, the axle is then held into the wood I just put a simple wood screw through and uh, through the aluminium tubes I drill it first and then put that in. That pull, holds that together as one complete part. Also will make it easier later if you need to get things apart you can pull on the end of the axle to get it out. So that is placed in. Now you can see that I've shaped around the end here. That is because I use these end caps. Um, I buy these as a set of four. They come along with the fence post and are designed to fit into the end of the fence post. You can see them, I've used them on the top of the riser as well. And um, on my later ones where the riser comes uh, down the bottom, I put one on the bottom of the foot there as well. Now these ones, uh, what I do again is right in the centre I drill a hole to the size of the axle and that can then slip over the axle and come down that fits its way in and then that will go on the end cap. Now you will notice that even at that point now that um, why the end cap will stop it coming off it will still slide back through. So what I do is I again put some a series of screws through to hold that in place from the outside. Now while I'm doing that I use some of this. This is high density polyethylene or HDPE. Um, you'll, this looks like a chopping board with uh, holes in it, you'd be right. Um, this is, you'll mainly see this uh, in your kitchen chopping boards. Uh, it's a good material, uh, cuts nicely with wood tools, um, shapes nicely with planes and chisels. I've simply, uh, what I do is I cut off strips of it and then I place those strips uh, on the bottom edge and I'll show you those on the trolley very soon and uh, I put the screws down through the polyeth uh, polyethylene board uh, and into the wood and that holds it in. That gives you a nice secure axle at the end. Let's have a look at it on the trolley now. So here it is finished up on the trolley. So you can see the end cap with a hole in. The axle comes out nicely. Don't even see the piece of wood in the middle. It looks perfect. And underneath you can see our piece of uh, polyethylene and the screws that we've got going through it. Now you can see uh, where this sits on the side of the trailer. So again of course we've got one on the other side. And so both of those are lined up so they sit nicely on the edge of the trailer and stop my trolley rubbing against the trailer. And at the front I've got another one uh, which is lined up to sit over the front of the trailer. Right, and finally the um, only other thing that I've had to do, and this is very um, much based around the wheels that I'm using um, and the clips that I'm using. Uh, because these clips are quite big they would actually um, foul on the uh, valve that sticks out here so I've chosen to put the valve uh, on the inside now the same sort of thing happens as they uh, tend to foul on here so I've just made up this um, high density polyethylene washer out you know, of the chopping board so it's the source of the holes in the chopping board you saw earlier that uh, simply slips over the edge and gives me the spacing that I need so with that we can uh, put the wheel on, you can see that this process is uh, quite simple so uh, it's very easy to slip the wheels uh, on and off your trolley uh, if you need to do that to get it onto your trailer. Okay here's the fire bug sitting on the trolley now so let's have a bit of a look uh, from one end to the other of what I've got uh, on the trailer and how the fire bug is attached. 
So at the front of the trailer, you can see the saddle I pointed out earlier. And I've just got a small line that's uh, firmly attached there and comes up and around that chain plate and is easily tied back down. Um, that's what I normally have at the front just to keep it on, trolley when I'm using it on the beach. Here you can see the strapping tie down. This is a 50mm um, webbing, sort of like a seat belt webbing. webbing. You should be able to get it at most uh, boating shops. Um, this just comes around the boat, um, has this other webbing piece that sits underneath this, just isolates uh, the two bits of webbing, stops this webbing rubbing on the boat. And uh, just there's just a loop in the end of my webbing, which I've got a very thick bungee. And on the side of the trolley, I've just got these uh, awning hooks. So that's what's going around. It's exactly the same on the other side, and that's enough pressure to hold things down. So that's how the boat is tied down to the trolley. To carry the spars, and I've just got one shown here, I've just got two little attachments. The first is up the front here, and it just has a small pin in, goes into the mast step, and the boom sits into that. At the back end, I have this attachment. You can see it uh, sits away from the transom, but sits down onto the rear deck, so most of the weight is taken on the rear deck. In here, you should just be able to see I have a gudgeon, so it's sitting over the pintle, tool, and uh, I'm just using the normal pin, and that just holds that attachment on. Up the top, I've got two holes, you can see the boom coming through, and just got this simple arrangement of a uh, threaded uh, bolt, which I have cut a hole and glued down the here, cut the head off it and that just holds the this end of the boom down and the mast runs from here straight up and sits on top of the trolley handle at the front. To hold the boom down at the front I've just got a simple bungee you can see it's hooked on there into my saddle put my hiking strap up and over and onto the other saddle. So at the front here now you can see where the uh, mast would come and I bring it down and just sit it on the handle here. I can then uh, bring a line up from here up over the mast down this side and then I actually just tie that down coming straight down onto the front of the trailer. It holds the uh, mast onto the handle, holds it in steady and just pulls the whole bolt, boat forward and keeps it uh, steady on the trailer. You can see here that the um, wheel pretty much sits outside the um, outside of the boat. Um, the boat's uh, about 1,200 wide, and that's pretty much the width to the outside of the trailer. So when it's sitting on the trailer, um, the trailer side is sitting uh, around about here, and uh, I can tie a rope down here to hold that uh, trailer down, sorry, the trolley down onto the trailer. So here's the simple uh, box trailer, the fire bug. Uh, I think this is about 6x4, maybe slightly underneath. Um, so it's a reasonable uh, size, the fire bug fits on quite nicely. Uh, I just wanted to show you quite where things end up. So I've got that mock-up that I did before the axle. Effectively uh, that sits around about here. And the wheel sits down in around here and actually sits up against the guard. So um, that actually stops the trailer moving completely forward. Um, so with the front of the trolley, I can uh, pull the trolley forward and hold the front down. And at the rear here, all I need to do is tie the back cross piece down onto the trailer.